Hello, this is Draco Flame 67 with the start of another Skyrim race log. This time, you can see that we will be playing as an Argonian, and the quest line we will be completing is the Dark Brotherhood. And you will see why once we take a look at the Argonian's starting skills. I'm going to name this Argonian assassin Aeon. Okay, so now we're inside Helgen Keep. Let's take the moment to take a look at the starting skills that an Argonian has. We've got Restoration, Alteration, Light Armor, Sneak, Lockpick, and Pickpocket. So, there are two pretty unfortunate facts about the Argonian starting skills. One, we have no crafting whatsoever. Alright, so we can't improve our weapons and armor with smithing all that well, and we're can, we can only craft our iron stuff. Um, we can't take in enchanting perks, uh, and we also can't take any alchemy perks. I mean, we can still craft potions, but they're not going to be very good. The other unfortunate fact is, we don't have any direct damage skills either. Um, we can't take perks in destruction, we can't take perks in one-handed, two-handed, or archery. That means the only way of boosting our damage through perks is through the sneak tree and getting backstab, deadly aim, probably Assassin's Blade too. Uh, the upside, however, is Argonians get light armor, restoration, and alteration, which makes them very good at taking hits, even though they're not very good at dishing them out. Um, also, if we're going to look at powers, uh, Hist Skin uh, is the Argonian racial power. Um, we recover health very quickly for about a minute. So if we end up in a position where we have to fight, uh, we can we can outlast our opponent thanks to uh, good light armor skill, uh, the flesh spells, healing magic, uh, and health regeneration through Hist Skin. So, rather than out-damaging our opponents, we're going to have to outlast them. Um, this is also why I decided, let's do the Dark Brotherhood with Argonians, because we're going to have to focus on sneak, and we can uh, invest into uh, the sneak attack perks. And we have pickpocket, so maybe we can end up uh, reverse pickpocketing poisons, though they're probably going to be store-bought poisons because, again, we can't get alchemy perks. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. <laughs> um... Because we have lock picking as a skill, we can actually pick locks in this run. Grab anything useful and let's go. 
I had already looted uh, the mage um, through the bars, but we can uh, we don't have to do that. So uh, we are near the end of Helgen Keep, but before we leave, I want to make sure that uh, my sneak skill is at 50 so we can get Assassin's Blade basically whenever we need to. And one of the best ways of leveling sneak is right here. Uh, we've got Rayloff, who will never will never become hostile to us and uh, cannot die hey, so if we keep using daggers to sneak attack him our sneak is going to go through the roof I'm on your side. what are you doing water what are you doing So you have to actually land the sneak attack. What are you doing? I'm on your side. What are you doing? Watch it. What are you doing? Hey, careful. What are you doing? I wish I went uh, only up to 40 doing this uh, in main quest as well, but because I'm actually going to use Assassin's Blade, I'm going to go up to 50. Let's sneak to 50. And during this time, the bear has uh, moved. Get out of Helgen Keep and continue on with 
this part. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. So we're out of Helgen Keep now. one of the few playthroughs where I actually am not going to go into Bleak Falls right away. We are going to come by here. Oh, Minor Alchemy. This is not gonna... gonna go out of our way to get um we're not gonna go out of our way to get a bunch of alchemy ingredients because we don't have any crafting there's no point in going out of our way to do anything aside from maybe crafting iron arrows um i'm gonna take the thief stone because uh, that will make our light armor faster.
only really going through here to get clairvoyance and to actually level our light armor a bit by getting hit. Time to get <laughs> Assassin's Blade. I'm gonna level up now. So, um, we do need a bit of Magicka for Alteration and Restoration. And actually some, and a bit of Stamina for Power Attacks that we need them, so. I'm gonna go Health, Magicka, Health, Stamina, Health, Magicka, Health. Oh wow, we're level 8 already. Okay. So, what are our perks going to be? Well, the first four are definitely going to be these. And then the other three, I'm going to get a perk of light armor. Then a... Uh, then we get Novice Restoration. Uh, and Novice Alteration. So then, when we buy Oak Flesh, we can use it, uh, very quickly. Now let's, uh, see Assassin's Blade in action. Iron Dagger can, can one-shot people. get out of Emperor Shard and make our way to Ever Riverwood. Briefly stop there and may end the part there. Here, give Camilla this letter. 
dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will kill Even though we can't take archery perks, we may end up still leveling our archery to just make our our archery stronger anyway. Here's something I've uh, learned to do in some practice playthroughs. Um, this this cutscene is pretty long, but you don't have to stay still and listen to it. You can just take that time chopping wood and uh, one and uh, Hod will buy your firewood and you can use that to just get a bit more starting gold. So that's a, a that's another advantage of uh, picking Rayloff and Helgen. Because uh, you don't have to like go out of your way to uh, find him in order to sell all the firewood. to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Alright, let's take these mees, these potions, this lockpicking ring. There is something you... The Jarl... We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Voitron to send whatever troops he can. I ought to get back to work before I miss, but... Okay. Um... So... I think this is a good place to stop always hard to tell in these uh, in these first parts uh, because uh, I have to skip over bits of Helgen and uh, spend a bit of time actually putting my characters looks together uh, I'm just gonna end things here next time we'll do a little bit more cleanup in Riverwood and uh, proceed on to uh, the Dark Brotherhood uh, we are not going into Bleak Falls Barrow uh, in this playthrough. This has been Draco Flame 67 with the first episode of the Skyrim Race Lock, the Argonian Assassin. See you next time.